Tara White. I'm a black belt under Carlson Gracie. Why is it important for women to train jujitsu? It's important for women to train jujitsu, I think mainly for self-defense purposes. Um, you know, there are certain things that you can practice all day, but when they're put into real life situations, you know, fear gets in the way. And I think that competing allows you to overcome that and use what you have learned. How can we help with the growth of women's jujitsu? Well, with the growth of anything, I would say one of the main things is advertisement, right? Because the more you put it out there, the more people are going to know about it, the more they're going to search it and all that good stuff. Why should women compete in the Five Grappling Women's Cup in January? Well, I think women should compete in the, uh, the Five Grappling Tournament because there's always really great competitors. They have great belts, great medals. It's always advertised really well. And you know what, uh, they've always been very supportive to me in the past and I've always had a great time and um, you know, always had some tough matches and yeah. What message or advice do you have for women when it comes to competing even if they've never competed before? Oh boy, I would say don't get discouraged because everything is a journey and everybody's journeys and battles are different. Um, you know, I'd say the best advice I could give to somebody is to have patience because it's like learning. Imagine the hardest language there is to learn. I, I think jujitsu is kind of like that. So you have to go into it knowing that everything, no, everything isn't going to happen all at once. And, you know, little pieces of the puzzle will come into play, you know, whether it be now or later. So just don't give up. I mean, there's always going to be stuff that's going on like outside of jujitsu or whatever, just in life in general. So, yeah, just don't give up, you know, just ride, keep riding the wave and keep going. Why should all women compete at least a handful of times during their jiu-jitsu journey? And what do you think it does for their self-confidence and growth as a practitioner? Well, along the kind of the same thing that I was saying is that, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the times that we, or a lot of the things that we learn in practice, if it were to happen in real life, like would you be able to overcome that fear and actually think through the process of what I need to do to be able to defend myself? What is that gonna do for my confidence, you know, to be able to defend myself or at least just, ha you know, know that I know what to do just in case I get into a bad situation? I think that it's gonna make me feel safer. It's gonna make me be more aware and, yeah, I think that it's just going to make me feel better as a person in general.